Greetings, wanderers of thought, seekers of wisdom, and explorers of the uncharted depths of the mind. Welcome to a journey through the hazy realms of the past, the present, and the spaces that lie in between. We embark today on an expedition across the vast landscapes of human memory, an elusive mist that shapes our identities, our perceptions, and our understanding of reality. As we navigate through this intricate maze of recollection and forgetfulness, we will encounter mysteries, paradoxes, and profound questions that have puzzled philosophers since the dawn of consciousness. What is memory? Is it a faithful record of our past experiences, an accurate chronicle of our life's journey, etched indelibly in our minds? Or is it a mutable, ever-changing entity, a canvas constantly repainted by the brushstrokes of our present perceptions and future anticipations? And what of forgetfulness, that peculiar state of absence and oblivion? Is it a defect, a loss, or might it too serve a purpose, a function in the grand tapestry of our existence? Memory, like a river, is both constant and ever-changing. It is the bedrock on which we build our sense of self, our reference point for understanding the world, and yet it is fluid, ever in flux, shaped by the currents of time, emotion, and experience. The minutiae of our past, captured in vivid snapshots or faded sepia tones, come together to form a collage, a narrative, a history that is uniquely ours. Yet these memories are not fixed, not set in stone. They morph and mutate, colored by our emotions, influenced by our biases, reshaped by our present. Forgetfulness, on the other hand, often seen as the antithesis of memory, may not be an enemy but an ally. It is not merely a state of loss or absence, but a process, a natural part of our cognitive machinery. Forgetfulness allows us to let go, to move on from past traumas, to make room for new experiences and new memories. It is a sieve, filtering out the unnecessary, the trivial, the mundane, allowing us to hold on to what truly matters. The spaces in between, that liminal realm between memory and forgetfulness, embody the gray areas, the ambiguities, the contradictions inherent in our understanding of these phenomena. They represent the thresholds, the transitions, the moments of change and transformation that are integral to our human experience. In the annals of philosophical thought, memory has been a subject of profound contemplation. Ancient philosophers like Plato and Aristotle contemplated memory as a wax tablet or an aviary, full of fluttering thoughts. More contemporary thinkers such as Freud and Bergson viewed it as dynamic, a mental time travel filled with distortions and reconstructions. In Eastern philosophies, memory is often seen as a form of attachment, a source of suffering and forgetfulness as a path to liberation. However, the discourse around memory and forgetfulness is not without contention. Some argue that our reliance on memory is far too great, that it confines us to our past, preventing us from truly living in the present. Others contend that forgetfulness, far from being a virtue, is a form of denial, a refusal to confront the realities of our past. Yet there is no consensus, no definitive answer, only a multitude of perspectives, each offering a unique lens through which to view these phenomena. The exploration of memory and forgetfulness is not an esoteric pursuit, reserved for philosophers and scholars. It is a deeply personal, intensely human endeavor. Our memories, our forgetfulness, they inform our identities, shape our relationships, influence our decisions. They are the threads that weave the tapestry of our lives, the paints that color our personal narratives, the echoes that resonate through the chambers of our existence. In the ebb and flow of recollection and oblivion, we find a rhythm, a harmony, a balance. It is in this dance of memory and forgetfulness, this interplay of past and present, this symphony of remembrance and oblivion, that we find the melody of our lives. Thank you, dear seekers, for embarking on this journey with me, for navigating the mists of memory, exploring the realms of forgetfulness, and traversing the spaces in between. Your engagement, your curiosity, your reflections add depth and nuance to this exploration. As we part ways for now, I leave you with three questions to ponder upon. What role does memory play in shaping your identity? How has forgetfulness served you in your journey? And what mysteries lie in the spaces in between your remembered past, 
and forgotten moments. Until we meet again, may this exploration inspire you to delve deeper into the mists of your own memory, to embrace the oblivion of forgetfulness, and to find wonder in the spaces in between. Remember, dear seekers, the journey is the destination. The wisdom you seek is not at the end of the path, but in every step you take. Carry this thought with you as you continue your exploration, and until our paths cross again in the lofty realms of philosophical thought.